Welcome to a week in my life as an exchange student in Madrid. I generally wake up at 10 or 11 because I go out late at night or my classes end at 7.30, like three out of the four days. So by the time that I get back to my flat and eat dinner, it's like 8.30 or nine. And then I have to work on my projects pretty late into the night. So my schedule is just, you know, pushed a bit back. It's 1.36 a.m. and my eyes are dying because I've been reading so many documents and writing for a group essay, but the good news is that I did finish my part in terms of the content, so hopefully I won't have to make too many revisions because I really need to shift my attention to my other final projects. This is my beautiful lunch. I'm trying out this new ravioli and chili hummus because I love spicy food. And then some of the same stuff that you saw me eat yesterday just kind of threw in like the pasta, greens, and falafel. It's 12.44, which means I only have 60 minutes to eat this. And this is actually a really early lunchtime for me. I normally eat in the 2 to 4 p.m. range, which is like the standard in Spain. But I have to get to campus early today for a group meeting, so... We'll see how much of this plate I can get through within the next few minutes. Generally, it's supposed to be 45 minutes one way if all the trains are on time, but we've been having some issues with construction and maintenance lately, so I have to budget out an hour. So usually that's like a two hour round trip, which is really annoying and time consuming. I'm not used to having to commute because I generally walk to school for most of my life, so it's been kind of frustrating. It's 11 p.m. and I'm just walking back to my flat after grabbing dinner with some of my UC friends. They like getting tacos every Tuesday because like in the US there's a Taco Tuesday tradition where the tacos are just super cheap on Tuesdays. But here they actually don't really give me discounts. So I'm not really sure where we go, but it's more just like a fun thing. It's 12.58 and I just finished working out and making my lunch. And I had kind of a rough night because I was working until like 6 a.m. on some final projects. I only slept five and a half hours last night, which could catch up to me later on because I'm going out to salsa night and clubbing probably until like 3 to 4 a.m. tonight. But we'll see. This is what my lunch looks like. It's like the same thing as yesterday, but worse presentation which is fine because it tastes good at least. Wednesdays are the busiest day for me because I have three classes. My first class actually starts at 2.30, so like two minutes. It's just right over there in that building. Very low, materially. They are studying the uh, satanics in doing so. I'm now walking to my second class of the day. In my first class, barely anyone showed up. Like there's supposed to be like 80 people, but only around 20 showed up. Wow, I'm actually the first one in class today. <laughs> Just, it's, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah.
It is 8.10 and I've made myself a very simple dinner. First off, I have oatmeal and all I had to do was put the oats in and heat it up with water for like three to five minutes. And then when it was done, I put in some honey. So it's really good. And I also peeled two mandarins, a boiled egg and a banana. It's just like the perfect amount of sweetness. It's almost like dessert for me and spanish dinners are quite late so i don't want to eat too much like sometimes if i'm out with my friends or i'm just like really hungry then of course i'll eat like an actual meal but these feel like very filling snacks i have my makeup done so i'm now gonna head out to salsa night It's 1.23 p.m. and I've kind of just forced myself out of bed because I know I have things to do, but last night was so crazy. I didn't really like the salsa night itself because the instructors were not elevated enough and we couldn't really see their feet, so learning was kind of a fail, but the actual clubbing night that followed after within the same venue was amazing. Like, I really liked the music and it was open bar so my friends and i had a lot of fun i think i left at around 4 or 4 30. so by the time i was in bed i think it might have been around like 6. It's 8.59, so I spent around three and a half hours in the library, and I finished all of my slides for a presentation, which is great. So at this point, I just have one other presentation, and then I'll have to study for all my finals as well. It's 1.15 and I'm basically just trying to kill time while I wait for my classmate to eat lunch with me at 1.30. I've been really early to things this week on campus because I normally budget out one hour to account for train delays, but almost every single train has come within one to two minutes of me getting to the platform, which is like unreal. This has never happened before on such a consistent basis. Like last month, the trains were coming like 20 minutes late. It's, it smells spicy already. Yeah. <laughs> You like it? Yeah, I don't think it's like. It's not. No, that I actually don't think it's that spicy. Right? No, no, no. I'm done with my last class of the day and the week. It was supposed to be an hour and a half, but my professor zoomed through and we finished in 40 minutes. I'm already on campus, so I might as well make the most of my time and go to the library, which is just behind me. I'll probably work on my art history presentation to see how much I can get done. I don't know if this is just a thing in Madrid or Spain, but cars are allowed to park in the middle of the aisle. I can see another one right there too. Like, I just don't think that's legal in the US, but maybe people just do it here. <laughs> Right as I thought that Madrid's public transit must have drastically improved, my train reversed. Normally they're supposed to make an announcement warning people so they get off, but they did it this time. Even the Spaniards were confused, so I don't feel as bad. It's just kind of inconvenient because that added like 15-20 minutes, which is exactly why I budgeted out an hour.
It's 10.30 and I'm walking up to my dance studio because every Saturday they have a K-pop dance class at 10.30. My friend and I went last week and we both really liked it. It does kill me waking up before 10 a.m. on a weekend because on the weekdays, my classes start at either 2.30 or 4, so I don't even need to set an alarm. I'm walking back from my dance class and it was so intense. I had never seen the choreo or heard of the song before, but apparently it was Tricky House by Psychers. I was dying, but the instructor was doing a really good job of teaching the choreo. It's just hard because when I'm really tired, my form starts to slip and then I look kind of sloppy doing the choreo. So I was trying to keep it together when we were recording, but like, yeah, I don't know if I actually looked like them. <laughs> We're in Yatai Market, which is an Asian street food area. It's like technically street food, but the prices are not street, so it's actually really expensive. But we're gonna find some items to split, and then hopefully that shouldn't be as bad. So cute! <laughs> so we're gonna get one cow soy. <laughs> you order. Okay. I'm getting really close to your face right now. <laughs> we have our bows. This one was four and a half euros, which is absurd. It's so small. Three, two, one, cheers. <laughs> Basically, this tiny thing I feel like was gone in like four bites. Lauren says that the salmon tastes like the salmon, the salmon burger in Trader Joe's. <laughs> We could have bought this in the US, but it's okay. <laughs> That tapas place was so good. I think that was probably the best in terms of like the price and the quality of the dishes because we got paella, we got bread, and then we also got tortilla de patatas and the tortilla was actually like really, really good. So I will definitely be returning. We're at Chocolateria San Ines, which is considered like the most famous churros place in Madrid. And my friends have been visiting me, so I always bring them here. And we got six churros and chocolate for five and a half euros. I actually really like both of these together. I just bought this ring for five years and I thought that was a good deal but then I walked past another jewelry store that was selling rings two for five euros it's okay though because I didn't find my specific ring style at that other shop I think I'm gonna get this leather jacket because it's only 10 euros and it's a little oversized but it's still really nice and functional like this is exactly what I needed I really enjoy coming here and it's nice because things are like pretty affordable but they're like solid quality
just gonna be like, that's not how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> I don't know. It's 11.07 and I have to get ready for class tomorrow, but I hope that you enjoyed living with me for a week in Madrid. And if you want to see more adventures, feel free to subscribe.